water continually falls on the exhibition called Ring Room, but uses 3D cameras in the ceiling to track the movement of visitors and stop the water from hitting them. I think the initial idea had not even anything to do with rain. It had to do with an imagination of how it would feel to be inside rain but protected from it. To be inside something threatening almost, that, but you are not exposed to it. And rain really was a good threat. It was, you know, not dangerous, but it was annoying enough. So everyone's afraid of getting wet. I think it's a combination of technology and nature. It feels amazing. I was worrying about if I'd get wet, but I didn't. And strangely, I feel very peaceful in there. The exhibition ran in London and New York two years ago, but the Shanghai show is its largest yet. Designers only allow 20 people to enter one time, and each group stays in for 10 minutes in order to make sure that every visitor can have the best experience. So the, the um, idea is an, an idea of immersion. Um, and to be immersed, you need to have enough rain around you to have that experience. So even if they all stand together, it's still important that there is enough rain in front of, of the visitor and around the visitors to experience really this, this cocoon, this protection. And therefore it is inherently limited. If you have too many people in the rain room... It's just no rain. <laughs> it'll just switch off. Yeah, there's no rain. I saw the rain room in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. And the public is very different from American or British because they, they hold hands and they go together and they're very united. And this I never saw, the way people go, okay, like let's hold hands and a one, two, three, go, but together, you know, usually people just do zombie walk and go alone. The show opened on Tuesday, but has been very popular so far. So organizers suggest visitors make an appointment before heading to the museum. The exhibition will run through December 31st, and tickets cost 150 yuan each. Sun Caiqing, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.